Hey guys, hey, TJ O'Connor here with TJ O'Connor Fitness. Anyway, I'm uh, coming to you talking about slam balls, okay? So the proper way to actually slam a slam ball. So a lot of people, the problem that they have is they don't actually engage their core and get their hips in the right spot when they actually slam a ball. So we have a 25 pound ball right below my feet. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the process of executing the slam ball. Slam? Correctly. All right, so the real big components of this are gonna be lower back, hip explosion, ab activation, lat activation, where we're working the behind the arms, and the overall intensity of the movement. We really wanna be able to actually throw as much effort towards this thing as possible to actually get what we want out of it. We don't wanna be kinda of haphazardly going through the motions of picking it up and slamming it on the ground, because not only will that not be effective in your workout, but it's definitely not gonna be effective in keeping you healthy and safe, okay? So I'm gonna unplug my mic for a second, go through the process, show you what I'm talking about, then kind of show you or tell you a little bit about the way I did it, okay? Okay guys, I hope you saw that. Basically, what we're doing there is we're working on taking the ball through our closest center of mass to above our head to a full extension, all right? Allowing the hips to extend, glutes to be tight, abs to be tight. And then when we slam the ball down, we don't wanna reverse the movement with our abs. We don't wanna do this. We do wanna flex the abs but we're initiating at the hips, okay? So we're allowing the hips to come back and bend the knee at the same time. So it's basically like reversing your deadlift position. So this translates into strength movements as well. And as we come down, we're using the entire body to throw it into the ground, okay? So really, really important to keep the core tight throughout the movement. Don't rush it. Get the ball back in between your legs. Allow for a straight arm position straight arm position and use the hips and the drive from the forces in the ground to let it momentumly be created to come up above your head and you push at the end and then we're doing the slam into the ground always get the ball in between your legs before you pick it up you do not want to be reaching out and trying to pick it up it's not a swing out in front of you we're not using a kettlebell we need to be coming as close to the body as possible make it as efficient as a movement as we can so that when we slam it into the ground it's a very explosive aggressive slam and our body all the muscles that can be activated during that movement are activated all right i hope you guys like it follow me at tj o'connor fitness on instagram um, and uh, click the link below if you want to check out what personal training or one-on-one -on -one training looks like with me all right have a great day